And as you can see around me, this place is just packed with fair goers. They're all out here, and it's expected about a million people come out to Perry each year for the fair. And that means those these fair goers, they end up being the driving force of a huge economic engine. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin follows the money from your pocket to help to projects throughout Houston County. I'm here at the Georgia National Fair where money is being exchanged from customers to vendors all over the place. I've got 20 bucks. We're going to see where this money goes. You can spend your money on turkey legs, lemonade, candy apples, or rides. But whatever you spend it on, it's helping Houston County. It is, again, an economic engine that we have here that other places do not have. When people spin, like I did when I bought a lemonade at a stand, thank you very much, a percentage of the sales tax on what you buy heads to the county. State gets 4%, the county basically gets 3%. Well, 1% of that goes to the Board of Education direct, 1% goes to the lost, which goes to the Board of Education, one goes to the SPLOS. The county's portion may not sound like much, but Randall Walker, Perry's Mayor Pro Tem, knows how important that money is to residents. This six-year SPLOS is going to give us around $10 million. That's just for Perry. The money is spread out across the county, widening roads like Houston Road and Warner Robins, <laughs> building a brand new law enforcement center in Centerville, rebuilding Ball Street in Perry. This road was fairly narrow coming through here and presented some safety issues with trucks using it as well as I mean, cars coming up and down the street. The SPLOS started in 2012, so a portion of the money you see working now is from past Georgia Fairs. To do improvements that all of us will enjoy that we would have not have normally been able to enjoy without creating some other type of revenue stream. In Perry, Sean Franklin, 41 NBC News. As of right now, the six-year Houston County Splost is expected to generate about $155 million. And a lot of that is thanks to the people that you see out here, the fairgoers. Well, I'm actually going to get back to uh, playing a little basketball. I'm going to try and score one. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. But for now, reporting live in Perry at the Georgia National Fairgrounds, Amanda Castro, 41, NBC News.